Aronov at the moment didn't know that after he dealt with Pierce. It would actually become the target of the entire Hydra to encircle and suppress. But even if he knew, this matter was not a big deal to him. Encircle and suppress, as long as these Hydra have the courage, there is nothing that cannot be done. Pioneer Technology, as the head of this technology company, Mordoki, he has little interest in destroying Aaron. Through several comparisons with Aaron's battle scenes, he discovered the difference in this man. Whether it's facing Pierce, or the news about the hand that Pierce passed on before. The man never seemed to make a direct shot. It seemed that he didn't have much interest in such things as killing. If such a man can be controlled together, then capturing the Hulk and Iron Man should be more beneficial. That's right, this technology company is pioneer technology. Members of this organization are dedicated to conquering the world through violence. After World War E, Pioneer Technology developed disruptive military technology for the Hydra organization. It's just that at the end of the 1960s, because of some differences, Pioneer Technology and Hydra parted ways. However, theirs is also part of Hydra. The Hydra organization currently existing in this world was not entirely created by Red Skull. Hydra founded by Red Skull is just a branch that symbolizes the concept of Hydra. Their ancestors have long been forgotten in the long river of history. Therefore, the people of Hydra are not completely united in knowledge and action. Hydra was established to summon their ancestors. But they are also afraid that their ancestors will not obey their orders after being summoned, so organizations in various places have their own plans. For example, Mordoki wants to control more superheroes. Now there is an Aaron who killed people in the Invisible, which is a surprise for Mordok. New York, Manhattan, in Hell's Kitchen. Huh? It's loony. Aaron didn't have any worries about getting rid of Pierce. On the contrary, the appearance of Nick Fury made Aaron feel a little bit interested. This is obviously not the existence of Earthlings, but it can control such a powerful organization in this country. If you want to come to see the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., there should be some stories for you to dig deeper. Master Hades, when I was looking for other magic stars, I found a rather interesting thing. Interesting thing. Speaking of which, Aaron's interest was mentioned. As a Pluto in the game world, fighting is no longer an important thing. Interesting thing, what is it? I'm near the North Pole, and I seem to have found traces of demons. As the deputy of Minos, one of the three giants of the Pluto army, Luni of Tianyang Star is not too weak originally. Although it may not be able to match the Saint Warrior of the Eighth Sense, it is also a powerful superhero on the Earth. Demon? I am familiar with this thing. Demons were originally born from the filthiest place in the darkness. They originally didn't have much ability. In the original world, even the underworld fighters were not interested in them. Aren't the demons of this world also isolated at the end of the world? The seal was broken. Master Hades, the strength of these demons is not strong, but there are quite a few of them. Kamar Taj's magician has already been dispatched. Should we also take action? Aaron shook his head on the phone. The large number means that this group of demons is just an advance army. The reason why it appeared is that when I was fighting with Dormammu before, I missed some space cracks and forgot to repair them. Since the devil appeared, the hell of this world should be at the end of that crack. Interesting. Ignore it for the time being, you can just observe where you are, and don't get in touch with the people of Kamar Taj for too long. Yes. Right now. Suddenly a familiar breath appeared in Aaron's perception range. Then Aaron picked up the coffee on the table and took a sip before continuing. The demon star of Tianmingxing has appeared. After the matter of the polar glacier is over, you can go find him. As your body gradually repairs, you will gradually recover. The magic stars traveled with me from another world, as long as I wake up, these magic stars will naturally surround me to find them. Tianmingxing, Dalamandis. I don't know, how much strength does he have now that he is awake? Aaron took a sip of his coffee, then put the cup down. The magic star will recover with my recovery, so when will the twin gods appear? Thinking of this, Aaron laughed again. We're not going to fight jihad anymore. The troublemakers under us are recovering one by one. It's really boring. New Jersey, in a Hydra underground base. The cyborg Dr. Zola is currently making the most accurate calculations on Aaron, and finally came to a conclusion. There should be nothing wrong with this person, he is Hades in the myths and legends. Hades in mythology? In Greek mythology? the king of the underworld belonging to the Olympian gods? It's a little troublesome now, but it shouldn't be such a coincidence. He should be a human being who received the inheritance from Hades in the myths and legends. According to the data of S.H.I.E.L.D., the first appearance of this person's divine power was ten years ago. 
He wasn't born extraordinary, he was just lucky. Zola. If we want to deal with such a person, I'm afraid we need to find the artifact recorded in Lord Red Skull's book. Someone said worriedly. The artifact recorded in Lord Red Skull's book? Zora suddenly thought of something. The hydra of his branch is inherited from Master Red Skull. He remembered, seemingly before the end of World War E. Master Red Skull seems to have found a mysterious spell from the ancient times, which can summon the gods of the gods. However, no one saw the arrival of those miracles, and no one knew where those miracles landed. Give me an order to search Lord Red Skull's book with all my strength. Once found, send it to the base immediately. Okay doctor, do you need to inform the other adults about this? Zola of at the moment is no longer a human being. He transferred his thoughts into the computer without human emotions. Therefore, every step of his calculation is the answer after the most accurate calculation. No. Whether it's Pioneer Technology or the Viper, it's just a pawn in my plan. Good doctor. The black shadow disappeared from the darkness, leaving only Dr. Zola in the entire laboratory. This time, after discussing the results of Hydra's high-level distribution in the world, Zola developed a strong interest in Aaron. In ten years, a ten-year-old child has grown to such a powerful state. It even far surpassed the strength of an advanced fully armed force. I don't know, did the old Steve have this kind of ability? Although he is a cyborg, Zora's desire for power is not ordinary. Otherwise, I wouldn't rather give up the body that gave me life and get into such a mechanical device. If Eren's power can be obtained, then Hydra will conquer the whole world is not a dream. As for the ancestors of Hydra, God knows what you are. New Jersey, Hydra Subsurface Research Center. This is where Hydra researched the latest super soldiers, but because the serum injected into Steve had long since had no samples, their experiments failed time and time again. But this time is different. At this moment, a young man is being locked in a container, and there are infusion tubes all over his body to maintain the things on the man. But not long ago, the man suddenly woke up. At that moment, the equipment monitoring this man was almost scrapped. A powerful wave of energy was released from this man. This made Dr. Zola very happy, and at the moment, this man slowly came to life. A strange wave of energy was constantly pouring out of him. At that moment, it seemed that he could break the glass even with a little force. We found strange energy, continue to monitor. Data station number one, record the data. Number two, perform anesthesia. The rest continue to analyze the research data, be careful. The researchers outside were constantly analyzing everything in front of them, while the people in the container slowly opened their eyes. Master Hades. A strange tone came from this person's mouth, and the no one data station just recorded it. Dr. Zola. The experimental subject has awakened. Zola, who was in the laboratory, got the news and immediately walked towards the experiment center. Master Hades. What is he saying? Zola carefully analyzed the signal from the person in front of him, when his own eyes met those of the person in front of him. He actually felt a chill. I am a cyborg, how could I feel such a chill? However, this feeling happened to appear in my heart. What a strange feeling. What is the identity of this person? A good body, it should be the best specimen for us to breed super soldiers. Zora hid the fear in her heart, and then ordered to go on. Take serum for testing, extract its DNA composition, and make super serum. Hydra researchers are constantly performing calculations after being ordered. The energy fluctuation of the person in front of him has reached a critical point. If all the measuring instruments are not removed, it may cause an explosion. However, now is the imminent thing. Not good. The data of the experiment question has reached the critical point. Can't be calculated. Can't be calculated. Everyone is ready to leave the lab. Everyone is ready to leave the lab. But, just at this time, Zora stopped them. Hydra hail. For the future of Hydra, continue to measure the value of the target. After hearing Zora's orders, these Hydra underground research members can't help but be brainwashed by this enthusiasm. Master Hades. At this moment, the young man inside the jar suddenly opened his eyes. There was anger in those deep eyes. That is a kind of anger towards these humble ants in front of me. Bang bang. Bang bang. Bang bang. At the moment when these fanatical Hydra elements fell into crazy ecstasy, the jar finally exploded. Oh. Woke up. Aaron, who was in Manhattan, suddenly laughed. Not good. Energy imbalance. Already out of control. The man in the jar suddenly stretched out his hand, and a huge energy exploded instantly. 
All monitoring instruments completely lost their response at this moment. The young man in the instrument kicked the container away. His gaze was directly locked on the cyborg in front of him, and he asked in an unquestionable voice. I heard that you were targeting Lord Hades, Lord Hades? Hear hear. Zora seemed to understand something. Could it be that there is actually such a definite connection between the identity of the person in front of him and Aaron in New York? After the awakened Dalamandes laughed at the memory in his head, he understood it instantly. He is Tianmingxing, one of the three giants of the Pluto army, and the bipedal dragon Dalamandes. My current status is no longer important. The important thing is that my recovery this time has something to do with Lord Hades. As for the person in front of him, he understood after digesting the information in his mind. Hydra. The bare chested Dalamandes jumped out of the jar. In the eyes of ordinary people, the majestic muscles on his body would require at least ten years of exercise. Judging from these muscles alone, it can prove that the person in front of him has an explosive power. This kind of power is not something ordinary people can deal with, at least it must be a soldier king who has been in the army for many years. You? Are you considered human? As soon as the voice fell, the security forces guarding the entire underground base rushed over immediately. Beep beep. Beep beep. The alarm inside the base was sounded instantly, and after many heavily armed soldiers rushed over, they immediately pointed their weapons at the man in front of them. Don't hurt the experimental specimen, just make him unconscious. At the moment Dalamandes is still shirtless, and the experimental tubes on his body have not been removed, as if some Frankenstein suddenly rushed out. You are guilty. Dalamandes stepped forward. Zola quickly took a few steps back, and then aimed the laser weapon on the mechanical arm at Dalamandes in front of him. Madness. Even if he is not wearing a dark robe, the human beings in front of him cannot deal with the strength of the physical body alone. It's just that without the power of Mingyi, he can't use the ability that originally belonged to Tianmingxing for himself. Shot. Under Zola's order, countless gun bullets poured towards Dalamandes. However, these bullets only took some time for Dalamandes. The originally awakened small universe emitted a wave of energy, completely blocking these bullets. Why? Dalamandes stood still and stared at the group of stupid humans. Why are you so weak, yet so naive? As he spoke, the bullets slowly fell from his eyes. Immediately afterwards, a black light filled the body of Dalamandes. A black armor slowly emerged from Dalamandes's body and completely covered his body. This is the underworld fighter. This is one of the three giants of the underworld. This is what the wyvern, Dalamandes, really looks like. This. You. And the aura on that Aaron. Such an aura of despair instantly permeated the entire experimental center. Whether Zola, or those soldiers, feeling hopeless at this moment. Their bodies, as if they were out of their control at this moment, were standing there motionless. Death came to Zora again. This time, it seems that there is no way to leave. Shoot. Shoot. Zola roared in despair, and the soldiers behind him were also trying their best to pour out their firepower. Pity. These firepowers have no effect at all on Tianmingxing who is wearing a dark clothes. Hey, weak humans. Dalamandes was not interested in the group of people in front of him. Although just recovering, ability has not fully awakened. But to deal with these mortals in front of him, it doesn't take much strength at all. Idiots like you will fall into the ice hell alive, and make eternal remorse there. Finished. A wave of energy was slowly released from Dalamandes' hands. Greatest caution. Maximum alert. This is the nirvana of Dalamandes. It is also Dalamandes who wants to use this energy fluctuation to inform Lord Hades that he has recovered. Endless dark energy is gathering in the hands of Dalamandes. Like the eternal ice, let all Hydra members here feel the breath of death. No. Don't. Don't kill me. Those soldiers are already on their knees. The whole body is weak, and I can no longer arouse any desire to fight. It's late, you offended Master Hades. The dark energy fluctuations are like machine guns, covering the entire underground base inside. No one can escape. The endless roars have already resounded through the entire underground, and it seems that a violent vibration has been felt on the ground. Darkness gradually enveloped the entire underground laboratory. All living dirty lives were turned into a lump of flesh under the fists of Dalamandes. Tick tock. Tick tock. The liquid in the container slowly seeped out. Dalamandes glanced at his fist then looked up at the corpse in front of him. Finally went to Zora. Mechanical life form. Presumably Lord Pluto should be interested, why not follow me to see Lord Pluto? 
The underground base in New Jersey was declared shattered at this moment. Even the rest of the Hydra base cadres haven't digested the news of Pierce's death, something happened here. Dalamandes slowly came out from the ground with the robot Zora. Taking a look at his body, he was convinced that this appearance might cause trouble to Mr. Hades. So, he hid the Mingyi on his body again. Don't kill me. Really don't kill me. The current Zola doesn't have the same aura as before, as long as he doesn't die, how can he manage so many things? Oh. Are you afraid of death? Dalamandes didn't know the origin of Zola, but just felt a little interest in the mechanical life form in front of him. Yes, yes, yes. I am afraid of death. I am really afraid of death, so, so please spare me. Unfortunately, I have no intention of letting you go. After finishing speaking, Dalamandes lifted Zola's body and jumped up, and flew towards the direction where the breath was awakened not long ago. Shield, Helicarrier Headquarters. What? Something happened again. Nick Fury has been having a headache recently, as if wherever Aaron appears, there must be some kind of trouble. However, this young man didn't have any thoughts of making trouble. It is really impossible to hit or scold, a little tangled. Director, there was an unknown energy fluctuation in New Jersey. After our agents arrived, they found that all the people in that place were dead. What? Nick Fury stood up from the table and chair immediately. This is amazing news. New Jersey, where there is a secret base of S.H.I.E.L.D. And according to the news in the report, the place where the accident happened seems to be that mysterious base. Investigate immediately. If you have any results, report to me immediately. Yes. What happens next in New Jersey is no longer on Dalamandi's minds. Now he is rushing to New York at the fastest speed. Manhattan, Hell's Kitchen. Boom. Under such a violent sound, a figure fell from the sky like a cannonball in front of the gallery without any mistakes. After the roar disappeared, the dust and smoke dispersed, and a burly figure appeared in front of him. Not far from the gallery, Aaron, who was eating pizza, frowned. After paying the bill with Uncle John, the owner of the pizzeria, Aaron turned around and came to his gallery. Dalamandes? You actually found it? Indeed, Dalamandes was awakened by Aaron himself. As the most loyal person in Pluto's army, Aaron really needs someone who can handle messy things on his behalf. In this regard, Tian Yingsheng's Lu Ni can't do it. Dalamandes, who has just awakened, has not yet reached the highest level, and is currently only at the level of a sixth sense. As for the previous Tian Yingxing, that's all, not as good as the current Dalamandes. The energy of a saint fighter comes from the small universe in which he cultivates. And most of the power of the underworld warrior comes from the natural power carried on the underworld clothes. The underworld fighters were not chosen by Aaron himself. When the magic star awakens these people with the underworld fighters' souls, they will be awarded a special combat weapon, the underworld clothes. The Mingyi is the battlesuit worn by Luni and Dalamandes before. They don't need to undergo strict training like the Saint Cloth. It is a person selected by different magic stars, and it is worn on that person's body. These people chosen by the magic star, as long as they put on the dark clothes, the power of the dark clothes will work on them. The Ming Yi worn by a Ming fighter can directly transform the wearer's body and strength. Due to the power of Ming Yi, as long as they, the magic stars, wake up, Aaron will have 108 Ming fighters that rival the 12 golds. It's just that, at the moment, he doesn't need the jihad to start. So even if these underworld fighters are resurrected, they can only integrate into this world according to Aaron's instructions. However, Aaron who has the power of 108 fighters. In a certain sense, Aaron, who has such a powerful force, is indeed the coveted object of shield and other major forces in the world. Of the 108 underworld fighters, the weakest one surpassed Captain America Steve Rogers. Dalamandes, who had just woken up, stared at the young man in front of him, and he carefully looked at the man in front of him. From his body, he clearly felt a familiar aura. But it was a little different from Hades, the Hades in his memory. The former Lord Hades was an absolute symbol of death, and it was impossible for him to possess such rich human emotions. But at this moment, the grown-up in front of him has a little more human touch. Especially, the bright red sticky substance at the corner of the adult's mouth. What are you looking at? Alan asked curiously. My lord, the corner of your mouth. Mouth? Aaron touched his mouth with his fingers, and a smear of bright red ketchup fell on his fingers. Then Aaron put his finger to his mouth and licked it. Oh, ketchup. As the master of this group of underworld fighters, Aaron definitely has to keep his face and heart beating. What? You found me here. 
When he said these words, Aaron regained that indifferent aura again. Seeing this, Dalamandes finally admitted that the existence in front of him was the lord he was loyal to. Skystar Dalamandes, Sea Lord Pluto. Well, don't be so alien, this is not our world. Aaron does as the Romans do, after all, he has been in this world for so many years. I always remember in my mind that when I first came to this world, I seemed to beat someone violently. But it's not very important, I can't remember it anyway. Instead, he is enjoying life in this world very much now. There is no Athena, no saints, and especially no Pegasus who is so motionless as if he beat himself up violently. How can such a good life be wasted? Dalamandes, who had just woken up, naturally didn't know what his adults were thinking. He had just woken up and hadn't fully recovered to his original level. Although there is the effect of Mingyi, what he can display can only reach the level of a sixth sense. This level is not enough for Dalamandes, one of the three giants of the Pluto army. He is the one who will swear allegiance to his majesty Pluto to the death, unlike those coquettish sluts under his command. The loyalty of Dalamandes to Lord Hades is a lesson from heaven and earth. Hey! What are you thinking? Aaron looked at Tianmingxing who had just woken up strangely, something is wrong with this kid, why doesn't he look as good as in his previous life? This brain is not very good, how can he become one of the three giants of our Pluto army? Although the Hypnos brothers look down on you, I can. The current Aaron is not the antique Pluto who has been in this world for such a long time. Naturally, it is contaminated with some breath of this world, and there are some human actions. Ah! Ah! Lord Hades, I caught this thing for you. Dalamandes, who was in a crazy brain, suddenly reacted, and then suddenly grabbed the cyborg from behind. What is this stuff? To be honest, Aaron really didn't know this kind of thing. Although he has come into contact with a lot of Hydra, the thing in front of him has never appeared in his foresight ability. This thing shouldn't be considered a powerful thing. I don't know. I heard it's part of a snake, could it be Medusa? It's Hydra. Aaron shook his head helplessly. After all, he was a modern person who woke up after getting the magic star. How could he not even know about Hydra? Aaron didn't have much interest in Hydra. But the existence of the ancestor of Hydra, the god they called Hydra was of some interest to him. After all, life is too long, after all, you have to find some fun to be happy, right? That's right. Lord Hades. Don't call me Lord Hades, just call me Master Aaron. Hades died long ago in this world, and I'm not interested now. What Aaron was talking about was the Olympian god system of this world. He didn't know if he died or not. Even if he didn't die, there can't be two tigers in one mountain, and there can't be two Hades in this world. He didn't believe how much a planet god could pose a threat to him. Yes. Ha. Huh. No, Master Aaron. Dalamandes is not stupid, otherwise he would not be one of the big three. Of all the people in Pluto's army, the three giants with the highest strength are equivalent to the level of gold. When there is the existence of Pluto's enchantment, it can even surpass the existence of gold. It's a pity that there is no gold in this world, and Dalamandes, a fighting madman, has no opponent to deal with. Let's go. Let's go in first, there are too many people outside. Yes, master. Dalamandes followed Aaron obediently and walked into the gallery. In fact, at the beginning, the two discovered the eyeliner of many people nearby. Needless to say who is the master behind these people? the underground master of Hell's Kitchen, Jin Bing. An agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., an agent of the United States military. There are also some people who are hiding in the dark, and there are people who are not daring and coveting this gallery nearby. After all, everyone wants to encounter such a thing that Aaron's words can predict the future. If you can know your future through a painting, not to mention becoming a president or something, it would be good to change one's tragic fate. After entering this gallery, the painting style has changed. Although it was still broad daylight, but for some reason, Zola always felt that his life was about to die at this very moment. Zola? A cold voice appeared in Zora's ear. At this moment, Zola found that her thoughts seemed a little out of control. That's right, I actually transferred my conscious thinking into the machine, and obtained another level of immortality. Aaron stared at the mechanical life with a very appreciative gaze. Sure enough, the human mind is wireless. In order to achieve immortality, a calculating dimension demon steals his energy to stay alive. But the one in front of him actually adopted another method. Interesting. However, whether it is thinking or what. In fact, on a certain level, it is related to the soul. So, come on, let me see your dirty heart. As he spoke, Aaron snapped his fingers. 
Zola found that her meaning was slowly rising with an irresistible force. Oh? I didn't expect that your heart is black. Master, I think Lao should like this person. Dalamandes stood aside and said. Tell me, what is Hydra looking for? Why did you come to steal my things? As he spoke, Aaron's eyes were constantly emitting a blue light. This kind of light cannot be resisted by anyone. Not even if you are a soul. The Book of Red Skull. The book records the eight great artifacts that descended from the sky. We can use these artifacts to punish you, the devil. Hearing this, the corners of Aaron's mouth twitched slightly. Can you sanction my artifact? Could it be that there is still Athena's scepter on your earth? In the battle of the pure land of Elysium, Athena and the saint warrior of Pegasus hurt her real body together. In desperation, the pure land of ultimate bliss collapsed. All the worlds I created collapsed at the same time because of these two ignorant existences. Sanction young master's artifact. Dalamandes is not happy, there are still people who want to sanction the young master. This Hydra, can't stay. Saying that, Dalamandes intends to completely crush Zola's soul. However, at this moment, Aaron blocked his move. Go on. What is the artifact recorded in the Book of Red Skull? I'm getting more and more interested, and the world really isn't so boring. It doesn't matter whether it's the disruptive forces from all sides, or the so called gods of this world. For Aaron, it's all a rare pleasure. I don't know, we don't even know where the Book of Red Skull is, but the Great Hydra will find these artifacts and punish you. Even under Aaron's control, Zola's obsession with Hydra cannot be dispelled. Interesting, with that said, Aaron let go of his control on this person. After being opened by Aaron, Zola's soul is not a master who has a deep understanding of soul spells like Ancient One. In a few minutes, this dirty soul will be gone immediately. Hydra hail! Hydra hail! Hydra will punish you devil! After howling for a while, Zola's soul finally dispersed. My lord! Hydra to you! It's okay, it's boring anyway, it's better to wait for them to come to find me. Aaron didn't care about it at all, as if these Hydra bastards were nothing to him. The disappearance of Zola did not cause much volatility for Hydra, but instead it lost a competitor. Whether it is the Mordok in the pioneering technology, or the Viper hidden in other places, misses Hydra. Zola is just a tool for them. The function of this tool is to get out all the secrets around Red Skull. It's just a pity that Zola's men, a group of robot army has not come in handy, they are directly hidden in the hands of the dead Zola. Stark building. Above the top floor. Tony, who has just finished the battle with Iron King Obadiah and has completely mastered the voice of the Stark group, is debugging new chlorophyll. Tony was wearing a white top, and an instrument was scanning his body in detail behind his back. And not far away, a room of red gold battle armor was placed aside. In front of his eyes was the research data on the latest Mark armor. This latest armor will add some firepower and energy elements on top of the previous battle data. Having said that, Tony looked back. Jarvis, check my body data. Yes, sir. According to your body's data, your current body has reached the limit it can withstand. If you don't continue to treat, even chlorophyll can't continue to maintain your body. Well, I see. Tony nodded, grabbed a hamburger on the side of the table, took a bite and said. Don't tell Peepo about this, I know it myself. Good sir. Jarvis replied. Who would have known that Iron Man Tony Stark, one of the superheroes, is now just a dead end. If he doesn't get good treatment, I'm afraid Iron Man can only become a pile of scrap iron. At the moment, Tony asked again suddenly. Jarvis, is there a good surgeon who can get the pieces out of my chest? Some sir. After searching on the internet, Jarvis finally determined the target in one direction. There is a doctor named Strange who should be able to solve your physical troubles. Sir, do you need me to make an appointment? After Tony put the clothes on board, he glanced at the latest Mark armor data on the table. Then, shook his head. I don't need it for now, I heard that there is an interesting painter in Manhattan recently. Even Fury, that black bastard, feels it's tricky? You mean, but Aaron. Saying that, Jarvis projected Aaron's projection. The scene in front of me is the scene of Aaron going to shield. Aaron in the picture is actually floating in the air, and some strange pictures can appear in the air out of thin air. Super ability. He saw the appearance of this person, with a well-regulated British face, but his face was very pale, and his eyes were also blue. According to the news, this person opened a gallery near 33rd Street, known as Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan. Jarvis' answer reminded Tony of what Fury had said not long ago when he found him. Superhero team? It's a bit interesting, I don't know if I will join the team, 
Will this young man named Aaron agree to join me? Jarvis. Book a ticket for this gallery for me, I want to see. Good sir. Tony Stark? In the gallery, Aaron really took a sip of a cup of freshly brewed black tea. Then he raised his head and glanced at Dalamandes who was wearing a suit. Almost sprayed the tea in the cup. I said, you are such a burly and muscular man, and you actually wear such a small suit? Dalamandes smiled helplessly. Young master, this dress is not convenient for me. Whatever you do, stay by my side honestly. As for the other magic stars, you can do whatever you want. Anyway, the recovery of the Pluto army will not be here for a while. Pluto army? Sir, this is it? Want to reorganize Hades' army and conquer the whole world? Don't think about anything, I don't have much desire to conquer the world now. This world is so interesting, although it is still inseparable from the human development model. But I just can't bring up any desire to conquer. Without the existence of that group of little saint fighters, it wouldn't be much fun to fight over. Dalamandes nodded, and then responded, The young master is right, those saints don't exist, and it's meaningless to fight. The day when Tony visited Aaron was just this weekend. Aaron's gallery, only open on weekends. However, recently, Aaron's younger brother Parker has not brought his girlfriend with him. Could it be that after this kid was really bitten by a spider, he never dared to come to the door again? The distressed Parker, now that he has suddenly mastered the spider's ability, looks very frightened. After all, he was not born a superhero, and he was not used to this sudden mutation. The gallery, located in the center of 33rd Street in Hell's Kitchen. After Aaron's diligent development, the reputation of the gallery has been established. Many people were attracted by Aaron's painting skills, and even some ordinary paintings were bought by some capitalists at high prices. Hell's Kitchen is a well-known dangerous place, and the underworld gangsters are in charge of everything here. There are gangsters who don't care about the sky and some criminals, making the whole Hell's Kitchen a mess. There is only such a gallery that these people dare not provoke. Tony and Pippo were in the car, and when they passed by this street, their expressions became much worse. How could a high-ranking capitalist like him come to such a place to experience the sufferings of the world? Just such a weird guy likes to live here, and this place seems to have been run by a guy named Matt before. Is there a place like this in Manhattan? Tony glanced at it, then pulled the window up. Have you arrived yet? We'll be there soon, Mr. Stark. The gallery is located on 33rd Street, so it will take some time to come from the Stark building. Tony wasn't so pissed off that he drove Iron Man armor to such a shitty place to show off. Unless money is given. Finally, to the gallery. There is no receptionist at the entrance of the gallery, and you can walk in from here with a ticket. After getting out of the car, Tony's mood became very strange. I don't know what caused it, but after entering, I felt a very unique feeling in this gallery. Is that Mr. Stark? At this moment, a burly man walked towards him from not far away. No. There doesn't seem to be any monitoring in this gallery. Otherwise, Jarvis should tell me that after I come in, I will be almost like an ordinary rich man. How could he see his identity at a glance and recognize himself? Who are you? Dalamandes was wearing an ill fitting suit, and the majestic muscles on his arms couldn't hide it at all. The young master knows you are here, so please come to the studio for a while. Master? Is this man still a young master? Who is not a young master? I, Stark. I'm also a young master. Then, Pipo, just take a look here, if you have a painting you like, you can buy it back and decorate it for me. After finishing the order, Tony followed Dalamandes and walked towards the most mysterious place in the gallery. You young master. Tony wanted to know some information about Aaron from Dalamandes. After all, he didn't get much information about this man. All he knew was that he might be a super ability user, and that he caught Shield's Hydra undercover. Arrive, after speaking. A door appeared in front of Tony's eyes. After Dalamandes guided Tony over, he left directly. Tony opened the door and walked in. There was a pungent smell of paint everywhere in the whole room. After entering, Tony saw the true appearance of this studio. In the studio, a man wearing a priest's robe sat in the center of the studio. On the ceiling of this studio, it seems that the colors of the stars have been painted with colored pencils. And around the studio, there are actually several little angels floating around. This is painting. Lifelike picture. Iron Man. The young man stood up slowly. Welcome, Mr. Tony Stark. This was the first time Tony saw Aaron himself. This person was different from the person shown in the information. Although his face was a little pale, it was not as scary as the rumors said. Even, Tony couldn't feel any strong aura from this person. 
It seems to be a simple painter, just an ordinary person. If I hadn't seen that video with my own eyes, that one was suspended in midair facing shield under hundreds of guns. Still able to easily kill Minister Pierce's super ability. Mr. Aaron? You knew I was coming? Tony asked cautiously. In this environment, even if Jarvis summons his own armor, it will not have any effect. The little angels around gave Tony a strange sense of comfort, staying here, he seemed to be able to give up everything and nothing, as long as he stayed quietly in this room. Aaron on the side looked at this scene and smiled slightly. Then he waved his hand, and the pictures of little angels around him immediately disappeared. You are the first person to come to my studio. Fortunately, you will be able to see the completion of a work. Book? Tony also felt a little interest in this, so he walked in the direction of Aaron. The atmosphere of this studio is very good, it is inside the gallery, but it hears the noise from the outside. Especially when he walked to Aaron's side, Tony could even hear the sound of blood flowing in his body. Tony came over. Aaron ignored Tony's appearance, quietly holding the pen in his hand, and described the work in front of him. When Tony approached Aaron, a terrifying aura suddenly appeared beside him. Tony was startled, but the breath came and went very quickly. At this moment, Tony finally saw clearly what the painting in front of him looked like. This, this is, Tony gasped. He is a local tyrant, and he can't understand the artistic conception of the painting, but he can understand the content of this painting. The protagonist on this screen turned out to be himself. See? This painting I call Iron Man's Last Will. The painting is nearing completion and Aaron is doing the final grades on the frame of the painting. The content of the picture was specially drawn by Aaron. He can basically foresee the major events that affect the direction of the world. This painting didn't exist in the first place. But when Tony stepped into his own room, his life was already in his control. Even the god of death in this world cannot change it. Tony's life has basically come to an end now. But there is still a little bit of light in his life, dragging his life forcibly, not letting him hang here directly. After Aaron said this, Tony didn't feel anything at first. But at this moment, Tony suddenly found that his body seemed to disappear from the studio and poured into the painting. Go and experience the taste of death. Aaron stood up with a smile, and then walked out of the house. Tony's soul left his body, a method that only God can do. After Tony woke up, he found a dead world, in that world, everything turned into ruins, and under the ruins not far away, a person who looked exactly like himself fell there. Jarvis! Jarvis! Tony yelled in horror. But there was no response for a while. Time was still running, but Tony couldn't feel his own heartbeat anymore. Not far away, under the ruins. The man who was exactly like him had fallen to the ground, surrounded by a couple of people who seemed to be mourning his departure. I'm dead? I actually died in battle? Looking at the ruins in front of him, it was obvious that an earth-shattering event would happen in the future of this world that he didn't understand at all. This matter, even if it is myself, there is no way to stop it. Are those around you also superheroes? Who are they? And how did I die myself? When Tony wanted to get close to his body, suddenly, he returned to the original world. Everything just now seemed to be a dream, he was lying on the sofa, and Aaron beside him was staring at him quietly. How much is that painting, I bought it? Aaron smiled, took a sip of the black tea on the table and shook his head. My painting, you can't afford it. Tony stood up abruptly, staring at Aaron, and somehow swallowed the cruel words after seeing Aaron's eyes. Are there any conditions? Condition. Speaking of this, Aaron spoke slowly. How about your life? My life? That's right, it's your life. The value of this painting is equivalent to your life. Do you want to exchange it? Aaron who said these words exuded an aura that could condense the air. Tony could feel it clearly, if he dared to say no. Then, it is very likely that I will not be able to get out of this room. I, just as the words fell, suddenly, a golden scale slowly condensed out of the air. Come on. Let's see if your life is equivalent to this painting. This is Follow's thing, a scale, used to measure the good and evil of human beings. It's just that the current celestial beast star Farao hasn't woken up, and the purpose of bringing such a scale is to scare the man in front of him. Shua. Immediately, Aaron raised his hand, and Tony felt a tightness in his chest for an instant, and then saw a bright red heart falling in front of Aaron's eyes. The heart was placed on the balance smoothly, and on the other side of the balance was a pure white feather. However, he had no intention of taking Tony's life. So Aaron took the feather from the balance and took the painting in his hand. Go. After the words fell, 
the painting scroll and the heart were respectively placed in the two directions of the balance. If your heart is lighter than my scroll, then you can go to hell. But if my scroll is lighter than your heart, then you're still going to die. The moment Aaron's words were uttered, Tony had already seen his own death. You said that you were really busy, why come here to make troubles when you have nothing to do? Why be curious, curiosity will really kill dead man. From the point of view of ordinary people, the heart will definitely make the painting scroll even heavier. The scroll is so small, how can it be light-hearted? But at this moment, the sky began to turn smoothly. Very strange. The heart and scroll unexpectedly maintained a strange balance at this moment, and even Aaron, who operated this thing himself, felt that there was something interesting about it. Is this thing still like this? Weird, weird. This man is no longer the Iron Man who saved the world, but a simple playboy. Could it be that such a person is still worth using? However, words that are spoken are water that is poured out. That being the case, this kid can't die for the time being. Forget it. Since your life is so important, I don't want it, you can go, this painting is for you. After speaking, Aaron waved his hand, and Tony disappeared from the studio. Master Aaron, just let him go like this. After Tony left, Dalamandes appeared in Aaron's studio. Aaron nodded slightly after the corners of his mouth curled up slightly, and then said. This person is a guide who can provoke all the interesting things around him, so let's ignore him for now. But, at this moment, a figure in the gallery slowly walked down from the shadow on the wall. Master Hades, your subordinates are not doing well, and they were attacked to death. Skystar. Dalamandes became furious for a moment after seeing the dark garment on the man in front of him clearly. You dare to consume the energy of the small universe of adults? You are a waste. After all, Dalamandes kicked Looney hard, however, he was blocked by Aaron. What happened? Looney, who was suppressed by the cold voice, couldn't breathe for a while, he didn't dare to look up, for fear that he would see the cold eyes of the adults. Master Hades, the phantoms in the polar glacier are becoming more and more powerful, and there are even demons that surpass my strength. Um? Exceeded the existence of Hades' army? The abilities of the Pluto army are a bit uneven, and Aaron knows this. It's no wonder that Hypnos looked down on these members of the Pluto army, but these people are still a superhero level existence in this world. As the subordinate of Minos, one of the big three, Looney of Tianying Star, originally, his ability is not weak. To say the least, I have just entered the existence of the Sixth Sense, and it has been a long time since my resurrection. Basically, he has mastered the energy on the Mingyi. After wearing the Mingyi, the big three basically have the Seventh Sense. Under the big three, their adjutants will not be too weak. This time, since Tian Ying Xing would be attacked to death, it was obvious that something more powerful appeared among those demons. Dalamandes, instead of Looney, go to the polar glacier to find the ghosts, it is best to find out the masters behind them. But, young master, on your side. Aaron waved his hand, then looked at Looney. You don't want to go there, I have something to tell you. My lord, please tell me. Aaron nodded, and then said, go find something called the Book of Red Skull. I'm very interested in the eight artifacts recorded in it. Yes, Lord Hades. After speaking, Lu Ni disappeared in front of his eyes. Dalamandes looked at Aaron in confusion, and asked, Master, why did you let me go to the glacier? You have no one to protect you. You go ahead, there will be a revived magic star rushing to find you soon. Aaron smiled and continued, and, the person staring at me is already planning to make a move. Pioneering technology. As Mordoki, who had contacted the heads of several Hydra branches not long ago, he was waiting in the office for the latest news. At this moment, several people in yellow protective clothing appeared in front of them. How is the mission going? Modok looked indifferently at the subordinate in front of him, and asked indifferently. Boss, we have found the tomb of the legendary mutant, but there are people watching nearby, should we dig? Well, let's go. Here is the ruins of an ancient city located on the banks of the Nile River. This ancient city is called Sebenitis, and there are a large number of Egyptian tombs here. And what was excavated today is the most critical one. This joint excavation operation is a targeted rescue operation of cultural relics funded by pioneer technology and led by Egyptian officials. Definitely, pioneer technology is not that simple. As part of what used to be Hydra, pioneer technology contains Hydra's information about all the mysterious objects buried underground. One of them is here in Egypt, in an ancient tomb not far from the banks of the Nile. Captain. The detector sensed strange energy fluctuations below. Okay. 
A pair of people are following those Egyptian officials, be careful not to let them disrupt our excavation plan this time. Attention the rest. Exist. Get your tools ready and dig deep into the pyramids. Receive. These people are all wearing yellow uniforms with the logo of Pioneer Technology on them, and there is a black hydra mark next to the leader's ear. Their purpose this time is very clear. It is to dig out the legendary figures who ruled the land in the age of mythology. Emperor Mutant, Apocalypse. Apocalypse is no ordinary mutant, he was a monster born in the first dynasty of Egypt in the third millennium BC. It is also one of the few high-level mutants that have survived the longest in the world. This old monster thousands of years ago, once brutally ruled the first dynasty of Egypt for thousands of years, has never died. In myths and legends, Apocalypse is the legend of gods in the world. This time, the reason why Pioneer Technology joined forces with other Hydra divisions to conduct an excavation on this person is actually very simple. 1. Find the secret of immortality from Apocalypse. Pioneer Technology is a terrifying force created by a group of scientific monsters, if you can get Apocalypse's ability. Well, part of world domination is already done. 2. The rumored weather has the ability of mind control, which is the only power that only Charles has among those X-Men. Once you have mastered this power and controlled the damn painter, you can get more news about the future through the painter Aaron's predictive ability. This is the best auxiliary force to rule the world. Whether it is pioneer technology or Hydra, they hit it off immediately after getting the news, and immediately agreed to this matter. Found it. Finally, the personnel of pioneer technology and Hydra found a tomb located at the bottom of the broken pyramids based on energy detection instruments. Be careful. First make sure that there is enough oxygen around you. After finishing speaking, this person took the lead in throwing a torch down. After the torch fell to the ground, it kept burning on the ground, which confirmed that there was still a lot of oxygen in the depths of the tomb. You, you, two people are guarding outside, no one is allowed to come in. The rest, come down with me. Follow the tomb passage of the pyramids and go deep inside. After passing through a dark corridor, a sculpture with a bird's head and a human body appeared in front of his eyes. Kongs, the Egyptian god of the moon, holds the energy of the night. Walk a few more steps and discover a huge amounts of coffins placed in the center of town in this catacomb. The sarcophagus was carved in the image of the sun god Ra, with a golden coffin in the center. Found it. At that time, after confirming that there was no threat around, a group of people took all the prepared tools in their hands. Then, it's time to open the coffin. One, two, one. One, two, one. Open the coffin, boom. At this moment, the sarcophagus was open. Sudden. A rotten breath spread out from the sarcophagus towards the surroundings. Ah. What happened? A burst of screams startled the surrounding detection personnel. But now that the sarcophagus has been opened, there is a faintly divine aura exuding from the sarcophagus. Ka. Kaka. There is movement in the coffin. Seeing a living person standing beside the sarcophagus, he was actually firmly absorbed by the coffin. Looking at the person in front of me with the naked eye, he changed from a living appearance to a mummy. The flesh and blood on his body was completely absorbed by the sarcophagus. Go and see. George, who led the team, gave an order and sent two people to investigate at close range. This this. Something weird happened. There is indeed a mummy in the sarcophagus. But what is so strange is not the appearance of the mummy, but the mummy. He is slowly recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. Those shriveled corpse parts slowly became plump after absorbing some flesh and blood. Then, the person in the coffin opened his eyes. Who is it? Disturbed my deep sleep. As the muscles gradually recovered, the person in the coffin spoke an ancient name with that hoarse voice. En Saba Nur. Big name for apocalypse, a taboo name. Respected Emperor Apocalypse. I, George John, on behalf of our boss, Mr. Mordock, welcome you back to this world. The United States, New York, Manhattan, Hell's Kitchen. Aaron, who was drawing, suddenly stopped the brush in his hand, raised his head and glanced at the sky. The stars all over the sky seemed to be watching him. What happened? Aaron asked faintly suspicious. The magic star of the celestial beast was suppressed by something, and I have to come down in person to continue to recover? The stars in the sky still radiate their original light as before, but tonight is destined to be an extraordinary night. In the Nile Valley of Egypt, there are ruins of an ancient city. There used to be an ancient city-state called Sebenitis, who ruled here. Not some pharaoh with a god, but a god called Apocalypse. And today, with the joint assistance of pioneer technology and Hydra, 
The mutant emperor, Apocalypse, who has been sleeping for thousands of years, is revived today. Who are you? As an ancient mutant, Apocalypse possesses some of the abilities of most mutants today. So, at the moment when the voice of George John, who led the team, had not yet spoken. Apocalypse directly took a few people's bodies by hand, and then covered them directly on top of their heads. With telepathy ability, the language and memory in the minds of this group of people were instantly read. Then, the current language is really hard to hear. After all, he was an old monster who lived thousands of years ago. For this, he didn't care about the feelings of these people in front of him. Humans, why did you wake me up from my long sleep? Do you want to use my flesh and blood to create more mutant armies? No no no. How could George dare to say his true words, he just wants to greet the ancestors of Hydra kindly now. As we said, under the Sebonitis is the corpse of a mutant that has long been dead. How? How could it be revived suddenly? Did I make a mistake, or did I accidentally touch some ancient taboo to wake up this existence? Oh? Apocalypse is not stupid. As an ancient mutant, he ruled the Egyptian dynasty for nearly a thousand years. For such an existence, in order to prolong his own life, his subordinates did not know how many innocent people's blood was stained. Therefore, mere lies cannot deceive oneself. HMPH, now that I'm awake, then. Apocalypse slowly stood up from her coffin, and tore away the body that was always wrapped in cloth. On the light blue skin, the rolling muscles seemed to explode. Then, Apocalypse stretched out his hands, My knights, your emperor has woken up, you, it's time to wake up too. Under the shroud of yellow sand all over the sky, countless sleeping mutants suddenly had a familiar name in their minds under this call. N Sabanur, N Sabanur, N Sabanur. Apocalypse is back. He is calling his army. He wants to rule the whole world again. Kamar Taj, the sorcerer supreme ancient one who traveled in the universe, suddenly opened his eyes. With a wave of his right hand, a water mirror magic is displayed in his hand. Huh? Why did he suddenly come back to life? This is a future that I have never seen before, and it has been changed inadvertently, and the direction of the future seems to have deviated somewhat. This matter will not threaten the safety of the earth, so ancient one will not care. This is a contradiction within the planet, and she doesn't need to manage it. Egypt, in the Nile Valley. Not far from the pyramids where Apocalypse was excavated, is the tomb of the pharaoh known as the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. The rest of pioneer technology, who are leading the rest of the people to cooperate with the authorities, are preparing to dig here. But at this moment, a blue figure suddenly flew over from a distance. Mortal, this place is my territory, so get back. After the voice fell, Apocalypse slowly fell from the sky. Then, he raised his right hand, boom. A beam of energy was released from the palm, and the entire ground immediately collapsed. The huge energy sliced. The entire pyramids flat at that moment, and an ancient cave was revealed on the cracked pyramid's tower base. In the cave, a wave of energy is brewing there. But Apocalypse didn't care about these at all, and constantly released countless energies in its hands, directly blasting down on the pyramids. Among the pyramids, under a golden coffin, a black dress is replacing the white shroud, slowly reviving the current body. Boom! The huge amounts of sound instantly collapsed the entire mausoleum. A black shadow slowly flew out from the mausoleum in front of him, wearing a black armor on his body. Holding a black and purple harp in his hand, he slowly walked out of the mausoleum. Celestial beast, Pharaoh. The Mingyi is like the Egyptian sphinx, symbolizing absolute fairness. But at the moment when Pharaoh just woke up and hadn't recovered from the waking state. Sudden. A terrifying energy surged towards him directly from the sky. Dark kiss. Pharaoh, who had just digested the awakened memory, immediately launched defenses against the attack in front of him. But Apocalypse's attack is energy projection. My own magic piano seems to have no effect on people like Apocalypse. The music of the magic piano seems to be suitable for Apocalypse, but only a little harsh. But Apocalypse really wants to kill this former enemy in front of him. Who are you? Boom! The powerful energy directly shot Pharaoh from the sky. Under the impact of huge amounts of power, Pharaoh's body that had just recovered was just a little short and was about to die. Such a terrifying power. Who is this person? I am Pharaoh, the beast star of the Pluto army. You are so bold, how dare you sneak attack? New York, Shield. A powerful force suddenly rushed into the sky from Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan, and the satellite could not capture any figure at all. 
This powerful energy fluctuation broke through Shield's monitoring index in an instant. The target has left. The target has left. Got it. Immediately track the target's energy fluctuations. Hill agent. Immediately hand over this report to the director, and the rest will continue to monitor. Shield has already prepared a plan for Aaron's energy fluctuations. This person who suddenly rises into the sky, needless to think, is Aaron's true self. For Aaron, it doesn't take long to go to the place where the magic star wakes up. But at the same time, he suddenly felt several unusual energies appearing near Farao. These things seem to be the key to hindering Falol's recovery. Egypt, Nile Valley. It's been a while since Apocalypse's revival, and more and more mutants are rushing in this direction. Apocalypse stared at the enemy in front of him, isn't he already dead? But why did he suddenly recover? Thousands of years ago, the celestial beast star Farao was the greatest enemy of Apocalypse. He united the magician and the gods of Asgard to sanction himself. After beheading his four Apocalypse knights, he disrupted his reincarnation ceremony, causing him to sleep in this ancient mausoleum for thousands of years. I don't care how you resurrected, why did you change your name to Farao? Since you have risen, then, you must die. As he said that, four completely different figures suddenly flew out from all around. Each figure carried a special energy, trying to completely bury the suddenly revived Farao under the ruins. I know you, Farao of Celestial Beast suddenly remembered something, but instead shook his head. Emperor, Apocalypse? After finishing speaking, the topic changed immediately. And your four lackeys, speaking of a huge dark energy rising slowly, countless energies are gathering on Farao's body. But at this moment, suddenly, hundreds of different light beams struck towards Farao. These strange energies are all mutants controlled by Apocalypse after resurrection. Bold. How dare you, a sinner, hurt a great god. Everyone rush up and kill him for me. Dozens of shadows rushed towards this side, and the powerful energy fluctuations made the whole earth tremble. Headed by them are the four mutants known as the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse. Among them, the Death Knight used dark magic, which made Farao's dark energy useless. Dark Kiss. The sound of the magic piano was cast out again. The extremely powerful music was directly poured into the ears of those mutants with a slightly lower level. As one of the few skills of Falao, the power that the Kiss of Darkness can produce is enough to kill the soul of a human being. This weird melody can even kill low-level mutants instantly. HMPH. This level of power can also hurt your majesty apocalypse. Saying that, a few people that Farao didn't know at all turned into knights and rushed over. Under that powerful energy, the four apocalypse knights completely enveloped Farao. Farao was not given any chance to react. After surrounding him, he launched an attack. Damn it. Asshole. Farao, who had just awakened, did not directly grasp the power brought by Ming Yi, and Ming fighters are different from Saint fighters. They don't need any cultivation, as long as they put on the Ming Yi, they can display their original strength. However, people in this world obviously don't fit Ming Yi so easily, and they can't fully display Ming Yi's ability for a while. At this moment, the Death Knight had already rushed in front of Farao. The powerful death impact caused Farao to take many steps back before he could react. Under the call of the Death Knight, the endless undead in the sky rushed towards Farao. A chilling breath erupted instantly. Endless dust kicked up, and the War Knight followed closely behind the Death Knight, charging towards Farao. Huh, finally recovered. Forced by the four Apocalypse Knights to back away, Farao also has a temper. As a member of Pluto's army, the moment he put on this dark robe. The things in the previous life have nothing to do with me. I am a member of the Pluto army who swears allegiance to His Majesty Hades. If Master Hades knew, because of his own reasons, he had lost the face of the Pluto army. The name of the celestial beast includes the life bestowed by Lord Hades. Needless to say, I will personally hand it over to Lord Hades. Boom. A strong flame exploded in front of my eyes. Under the protection of Mingyi, the mere flames did not cause much damage to his body. But at this moment, under the control of the Famine Knight, a wave of yellow sand wrapped his body in groups. Countless mutants on the ground are screaming for this, roaring. This incomparably powerful force, be their emperor, it is their gods. The great power bestowed by his majesty Apocalypse. At that moment, the entire sky seemed to be falling into the end of the world, and Farao, surrounded by the four Apocalypse knights, looked extremely humble in the eyes of these mutants. Be loyal to me. I can give you the power of eternal life. On one side, 
Apocalypse stared at Pharao surrounded by his own knights, and the indescribable energy fluctuation on Pharao. Balance curse. At this moment, an extremely dark energy broke through the encirclement of all knights. Falao, who has thoroughly mastered the dark clothes, finally awakened his ultimate mystery. Apocalypse, you want me to betray Lord Hades? Pharao laughed disdainfully. As the underworld fighter of Celestial Beast, Pharao once guarded the second prison of the underworld, Stormhell. The energy released from its magic piano can produce soul stirring melodies. You have violated the laws of the underworld, so, suffer death. After finishing speaking, the soul stirring attack began. At that moment, the other three knights accept the death knight. At the same time, I felt the birth of a terrifying force, and in an instant, I saw my heart flying from my chest towards Pharao. The heart, like a feather, went towards Pharao. At the same time, under the call of the Death Knight, countless undead came towards Pharao. Snort. Clang. With a crisp sound, a black scale slowly appeared in the air. It was Pharao's artifact, and Aaron had used it before when he coaxed Tony. When their hearts are placed on the feather, and it is lighter than the feather. The death of these four knights is already doomed. But at this critical moment, the apocalypse behind the four knights suddenly moved. A wave of energy poured into the bodies of these four knights. Instantly, the Death Knight's aura soared. Our God is giving us infinite power. People who are loyal to God, take down this treacherous person in front of me. Infinite dark souls are attacking Pharaoh on the celestial beast, and the abilities of these four knights have their own strengths. But with the help of Apocalypse, their energy has been greatly improved. Pharaoh, who had successfully captured the four knights just now, was defeated again and again. My battle is about the dignity of the Pluto army. With that said, powerful energy was released from the Mingyi again. Death Knight and Famine Knight surrounded Pharao one after the other. A powerful 10,000 degree high temperature flame was released from Famine Knight's body. The fierce flame roared towards the sky, as if it wanted to completely devour Pharao. Although Pharao of Celestial Beast once lost to the Saint Seiya of Lyra. But the battle between them is enough to tear the earth apart. This planet does not have the blessings of the gods, but there are many powerful enemies surrounding it and staring at it all. Pharao suddenly backed away. A huge amount of flame from hunger directly burned the ground in front of him into a crystalline object. Accompanied by a flame that turned into a chain, it quickly attacked Pharao on the celestial beast. The huge amounts of flame energy carried on the chain, although it won't make a difference to the Mingyi, it is also a tricky thing for Pharao. But, Pharao didn't run away. You shouldn't be so rude to the soldiers of Hades' army. Bullshit Pluto army. Our god. It's his majesty apocalypse. The famine knight directly stuck to it, and the weird spell on the muscle was exuding its original power. The death knight rides many undead on the head of Pharao. Even the most powerful war knight has already shot. Take it down quickly, his weird moves are a threat to our subordinates. Following a burst of orders from the war knights, the four knights surrounded them again. Under Apocalypse's strengthening, Pharaoh's ultimate has lost its effect. In an instant, these knights suppress the strong breath of death on Pharaoh. Sky Beast, you can't even deal with these little fellows. Be careful that you will be punished by Lord Dalamandes after you go back. The moment all the attacks gathered in one place, a more terrifying energy flew over from the sky. Desire to survive. In the sky, a huge amounts of black shadow mixed with terrifying energy. Using a speed that completely exceeds the speed of sound, directly compressing the air makes a sound that is not inferior to a sonic boom. In an instant, the undead surrounded in the sky were directly destroyed by this terrifying force. The Death Knight immediately faced such a terrifying attack. The Famine Knight suddenly realized that something was wrong, and immediately put the distance between himself and Pharao. Bounce back. But it was still attacked by this powerful dark giant eagle. After being knocked out in an instant, Huge amounts of explosion sounded on the ground, and finally stood up reluctantly in front of Apocalypse. Puff. Who is it? The Plague Knight and the War Knight also reacted immediately, and immediately retreated from the front of Pharao, pulling the dying Death Knight on the ground up. I am under the command of Hades, the King of Hades, the crying star Balandine of the Hades army. A huge amount of shadow came from a distance, and gradually turned into a figure and landed beside Pharao. Pharao, you can't do it. Since you can't even beat these few minions, how can you lead the second prison? The friendly army came, and Pharaoh stood up. He had just recovered, and had not yet fully grasped the energy of Mingyi. As a result, 
I met Apocalypse, who was relatively bug, and brought a group of people to beat me up. This is not the place where Pluto is enchanted, the four Apocalypse Knights plus a lot of undead. And with so many mutants below staring at him, how could he not lose? Even if it is a wheel battle, they can't beat them. Pluto Army. Apocalypse sat on her throne, quietly staring at the two in front of her. First of all, Pharao, who calls himself Celestial Beast, is his old opponent. He is not of the mutant family, so it is impossible to live for such a long time. But after he woke up, he felt this person's recovery. Not only that, but the energy contained in his body far exceeded the white magic power he had mastered during his lifetime. Have you ever heard of the Pluto Army? Your Majesty, I have never heard of the Pluto Army. It should be a mutant organization that just appeared recently. The first to leave Farao's eyes was the Famine Knight with a problematic brain. Although ability is big, once he finds something is wrong, he will sacrifice such a person as his teammates. Mutant 2. Apocalypse squinted her eyes and stared quietly at the two so-called Pluto warriors in front of her. I can't see any abilities on them, what's weird is the dark clothes they wear. On the pitch black Mingyi, it seemed to exude the aura of his original master. That is a kind of power that I have never seen before. Is this the so-called Pluto army? Thinking of this, Apocalypse once again distributed its ability to the surrounding mutant army. These tens of thousands of mutants all followed his call. Many mutants, who were despised by human beings and targeted by various countries, gathered here. Famine. Next time you run away, I'll screw your head off. After finishing speaking, a wave of energy revived the dying death knight again. Take those two down for me, this kind of energy will definitely allow me to break through my current level. Saying that, the army of mutants under their feet rushed towards Balandane and Farao. Headed by the four apocalypse knights, the tens of thousands of mutant army killed them. Coming. Farao was waiting in full force, and the crying star on one side, even Dine, put away the disdain on his face, and looked into the distance solemnly. Boom. Such a powerful flame soared into the sky, and the famine knight was the first to kill it. Behind him is Apocalypse, and he dare not do any betrayal again in front of Apocalypse. In addition, after being strengthened again, he is confident that he will be the first to take down the two people in front of him for the adults. Balance Curse. The endless magic sound is coming. These magic sounds may have some obstacles to the four knights after strengthening. But for those low-level mutants below, this is the magic sound of death. Seeing that Farao has already started to attack, Countless bright red hearts gathered together, and the magic sound turned into feathers and placed on the illusory balance. In an instant, the weight of the heart surpassed the pure and flawless white feathers. You guys are sinful. After the words fell, the bodies of these mutants instantly turned into ashes. The moment the dirty soul was turned into ashes, it was completely turned into nothingness by Farao's balance before it became the army of death knights. Sweet chocolate. This is. The sky crying star's trick far exceeds the shockwave he used before. This powerful energy, also known as sweet chocolate, summoned countless harpies and devoured them in the direction of the death knight. Careful. The war knight jumped up, and huge amounts of strange power rushed up. It's a pity that the crying star was originally the incarnation of the harpies. Its speed far exceeds the bulky body of the war knight. No. Countless undead were swallowed up by the summoned harpies at that moment and the Death Knight was also hit in the face by the Crying Star's fist that exceeded the speed of sound at that moment. That's it. The Death Knight still wanted to resist, but Balandane's next words made her give up the next move. These harpy birds are very greedy for life and souls. Death couldn't make a move, so Balandane went directly behind her. Then he whispered in her ear with a soft voice. Your vain obsession and greedy soul must be sweet treats for my babies. The Death Knight didn't take this into consideration at all. All the knights appointed by Apocalypse are born out of the desire in their hearts. These desires are the most appropriate food for the harpy birds. No. Moment. The Death Knight fell from the sky under the attack of sweet chocolate. In the next second, the famine that stunned God was also approached by Pharaoh. The magic sound was poured into the ear, and it was taken away with one blow. You shouldn't insult Hades' army, Lord Hades. The rest is the mutant legion with less than 5,000 people. As well as the remaining war knights, and the plague knights who have never been close. The king of the throne, Apocalypse's eyebrows slightly touched. Is this the strength of Pluto's army? Apocalypse's face twitched slightly, as the king of the first dynasty of Egypt in ancient times. 
How could an army of this strength not be under his control? Your body, I want it. Immediately, Apocalypse stood up from her throne. Death and famine are dead, and these two could just as well be the new death and famine. After further gaining the power of these people, wouldn't the whole world become his possession again? At the order of Apocalypse, thousands of mutants each used their abilities and charged towards the two underworld fighters. In this sky full of yellow sand, all kinds of mutants that control energy elements are constantly displaying their abilities. Balandine. These people probably think of us as those earth demon stars, don't they? Pharaoh held his own harp in his hand, and his eyes radiated divine light like a sphinx. Is it death, is it justice? No, neither. Noisy. How can such a trivial matter lose face to our Pluto army? The waking star Blandine has actually been living in Paris for a while. With Aaron's approval, Valentine continued to live there as a human. Until this time, the recovery of Apocalypse actually threatened the resurrection of a familiar magic star. Under the order of Lord Dalamandes, he rushed over first. At this moment, a powerful dark aura erupted from Balandine's body. This is. On the ground, those mutants who manipulate different elemental energies are trying to attack the two underworld fighters in the sky. Suddenly felt a cold death force, desire to survive. At this moment, a shockwave with astonishing destructive power turned into a giant bird and rushed towards the ground. Get out of the way. Hurry up. On the ground, facing such a huge force, all kinds of mutant army retreated in a hurry. But it is a pity, at this critical moment, Apocalypse finally made a move. Snort. After a muffled grunt, Apocalypse slowly flew from his throne into midair. On the other side, Farao felt an amazing power from this person. The kind of evil spirit released is definitely not something that a kind of compassionate person like a saint can have. Now they, it seems, dark kiss. The magic piano of celestial beast stood out from the hands, and under the control of Farao, it once again cast endless magic sounds to destroy the heart of the mutant present. Pity. This move has no effect on Apocalypse. Not bad ability. What a pity, I am the god of you mutants. Apocalypse is the ruler of the first dynasty of Egypt, the earliest mutant in the world. The gods of the earth have long been abandoned from their own rule. What Odin, what Zeus, what god? Everything here is heresy. They will not send the descendants of the major gods again in order to crusade against themselves, so in the world at this moment, they are the true gods. Magic sound? Will this do anything for my apocalypse? Cannot. Telekinesis ability, spirit shockwave. Such powerful spiritual energy is the most difficult to block, even with the protection of Ming Yi. This energy is like Farao's magic sound, once it attacks someone, it will produce absolute effects. No. The one who faced the attack directly was the classmate Farao who is best at mental energy. As a burst of ripples flashed in the air, Apocalypse presented a huge shield in his hand, completely cancelling the shockwave of the weeping star. No matter how powerful the energy is, it can also be transformed into a molecule-like existence. And this, it doesn't work for the god. Immediately, a huge energy directly knocked the two Tiangong Ming fighters away. Apocalypse's actions obviously inspired the mutants below at the level of hitting, and all of them below were crazy believers calling for the name of Apocalypse. En Saba Nur, En Saba Nur, En Saba Nur. Hydra and Pioneer technology, which have long been forgotten, are broadcasting the scene in front of them live. After getting the news, the leaders of Hydra and Pioneer Technology, facing the godlike battle in front of them, couldn't help exclaiming that their knowledge was still too shallow. We must recruit Emperor Apocalypse and try our best to get the news out of his mouth. Even if the whole world is divided into half of him, we can't be enemies with him. On the battlefield, yellow sand filled the sky. With Apocalypse half fired, the two great underworld fighters, Celestial Beast and Celestial Crying, constantly retreated behind them. Surrender to me and become the knight of the god, and the god will spare you from death. The purpose of Apocalypse is not to kill these two. Instead, he wants to control these two people, absorb their energy, and complete his own evolution. Therefore, even though these two people are in such a mess now, they don't feel any threat. HMPH. Apocalypse, how dare you call yourself a god? Pharaoh and Valentine are both people who have truly seen God. Just such a mutant, dare to call himself a god. This is the greatest insult to God. After Pharaoh and Valentine looked at each other, they began to use their biggest trick. Balance curse. Sweet chocolate. The darkness was released from the dark clothes of the two of them. This power. This power. 
Apocalypse stared greedily at the two underworld fighters in front of him, once he got this power. The whole world, it's all yours, can even control. One of Apocalypse's abilities, directly covering the past. But at this moment, at some point, there seemed to be a burst of crying in the blue sky. There was still sunlight in the sky, but it was completely covered by dark clouds at some point. The adults you were loyal to will no longer come to save you. But not long after these words fell, an extreme darkness in the sky completely covered the entire sky. In midair, Apocalypse's face drooped instantly. This dark power to the extreme has never been seen in the era I live in. A mere mortal, dare to disrespect God? After such a roar. In the sky, a bigger figure suddenly shot out from that distance. Damn it. Who is it? Apocalypse stared at the energy in the air. The darkness of the sky was definitely not covered by the power in front of him. Obviously, this person is just a pawn played by the dark master in front of him. Immediately, a lavender light flashed in Apocalypse's hand, and a huge impact energy flashed in the direction of the figure. Energy manipulation. After turning the energy diffused in the air into molecules, they gather again. Using the rule, he turned these energies into his own power, and then killed the enemy figure. At that moment, the sky was filled with endless darkness. On the ground, the yellow sand was swept up by the tornado. Whether it's Apocalypse or the opponent who came from afar, they didn't care about the group of low-level mutants at their feet. It's a pity that the darkness and the yellow sand are not on the same level at all. The two exploded in midair, and Apocalypse took many steps back to stabilize her body. Apocalypse. A cold voice stood out from the darkness, and then, a man dressed in a black robe slowly appeared in the darkness. And Saba Nur. You insulted the army of Hades, this is one of his crimes. Hitting and injuring my Pluto warrior, this is the second crime. Your words are disrespectful, and there are many disrespects in words to adults, this is the third crime. The figure slowly appeared, followed by a familiar figure. In the hand of this figure, holding a pitch black book, a lot of power of law appeared from this book. Bullshit. I don't care who you are, but I don't respect you, damn it. Apocalypse, as one of the oldest mutants on Earth, far exceeds the current Earth powerhouses in the length of time span. Even Ancient One didn't live as long as him. His development history is somewhat related to that of Mutant. However, this god did not intend to give you death, your body is mine now. The crazy Apocalypse once again released a dazzling blue beam of light. Um? The black figure strode over directly, and the blue light beam landed on the Mingyi on his chest. This person unexpectedly accepted Apocalypse's powerful attack abruptly, and only took a few steps back. Master Minos. Minos? Tian Guixing, one of the three giants of the Pluto army, and Minos known as the Griffin. After the black shadow slowly dispersed, two figures appeared in front of Farao and Balandine. These two people are Lu Ni from Tianying Star. And Minos, who was resurrected with Dolomandus, but in a different place. You two lost the face of the Pluto army, my lord is very upset. After finishing speaking, Minos burst out a powerful underworld microcosm and attacked in the direction of Apocalypse. This is the existence that can fight the Golden Saint. Every piece of gold is an existence that can easily explode into stars. Although it has only just recovered, the energy it possesses may be equivalent to that of a saint with a sixth sense. But Minnow's explosive power is not weak. After waking up, Minnow's hadn't fought like this for a long time. In a moment of excitement, Minnow's directly used the power of his body to fight Apocalypse. Apocalypse is very strong, but it cannot reach the level of Heavenly Father. It's just because he has lived for a long time and has a lot of abilities that he can bewitch many low-level mutants and call themselves gods. And Minos is different, he is the real big three under the gods. A battle of Sonic and Sonic, atoms colliding with each other. Let the whole yellow sandland be spread by the flames of war again. Your strength is great, but your physical body will be mine. Apocalypse stared at the warrior in front of him, the black armor originally exuded an extreme dark power. For the strong, Strength is the most important thing, white and black are not what he needs to consider for a long time. So, take advantage of the moment when Minos continues to attack himself. Apocalypse sneered, quickly approached Minos, and then trapped him tightly. Now, all your secrets are mine. After speaking, Apocalypse began to manipulate his body to carry out the transformation between molecules. Assimilate my spirit and strength with Minos in front of me, so as to obtain this powerful body and that strange power. But at this moment, Minnow's cold voice came to his ears, Oh, really? 
Before Apocalypse could react, he found that there were a few tiny silk threads on his body at some point. Immediately, a three-headed vicious dog in the sky came through the dark clouds driving the flames of hell. A short-haired man in a black robe stood on top of the vicious dog. The dark universe crushed Apocalypse, making him unable to breathe at all. My people are also the ones you can hurt? Minos, you step back. As this icy voice gradually appeared on the earth, whether it was the mutant army, or those of Hydra and Pioneer technology. All at the same time, saw the incomparably dark sky. A young man was carried by three vicious dogs and slowly fell from the sky. HMPH. Whoever you are. Get lost. The outspoken apocalypse gradually descended regardless of the threat in front of him, because he only felt a terrible breath from this vicious dog. And this young man above the vicious dog doesn't have any dark power in him. Shao Hei, you change back first. Ah. Following Aaron's order, the three vicious dogs nodded obediently, and then slowly transformed into a little black dog from their huge amounts of body form. This is no little black dog. This dog is the famous Hell Three Headed Dog, Cerberus. Rumor has it that the Hell Three Headed Dog was born between the ancestor of all the demons and the snake bodied female monster. It is one of the demons that handle the gate of hell. Its huge mouth can swallow Apocalypse in one bite. However, at this moment, a blue energy beam was released from Apocalypse's fingers. The target is Aaron. This man without any breath seems to be an important figure in this group of so-called underworld fighters. Moreover, based on my experience of living for thousands of years, this kind of person is the most critical body for reincarnation. As long as he masters this person's body, the value of controlling this so-called Pluto army is much better than that group of brain-dead mutants. But this is the time. Let Apocalypse do something that Apocalypse never expected. His own light beam was enough to destroy a city, but it stopped less than one meter away from this man. How can this be? Aaron slowly raised his hand. An invisible barrier appeared in front of his eyes, and the moment the astonishingly destructive energy beam hit. Darkness completely changed the matter in the energy. Aaron directly copied this beam of energy. To achieve his vision, any tricks can be simplified. At this moment, the dark energy fluctuations bounced back directly, and landed directly in front of Apocalypse with the endless majesty of Hades. Boom. Strong dark energy, with a corrosive effect. The moment it landed on his face, Apocalypse felt his entire face was unconscious. Bastard. Who are you? Only now did Apocalypse realize that the man in front of him seemed to be more terrifying than all the Hades fighters present. The moment he started, he didn't display any energy at all. Raising his hand slightly, his own attack was transformed into his attack. I have never seen this kind of ability in any mutant so far. Presumptuous. Is the adult you can look directly at? Apocalypse's words were rude, and Aaron hadn't reacted yet. Minos took the lead in pulling the silk thread in his hand to try to make Apocalypse kneel down. Okay. Minos, your hostility is too strong. Aaron walked slowly with Xiao Hei in his arms, and Apocalypse suddenly found that this person was standing on the yellow sand and the shadow was completely different from his. This man is weird. Before the words fell, he heard a cold voice appearing in his ears. Remember, my name is Aaron. In an instant, Apocalypse found that his consciousness began to change. The body also became unable to move, and there seemed to be endless ice under the knees to freeze him in place. Everything around became distorted again. The horrible memory of death thousands of years ago reappeared in the brain from the buried pyramids at this moment. God. This boy is a god. No. 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 Apocalypse finally panicked at this moment, struggling to escape from Aaron's pressure. Unfortunately, it's too late. Now his body can't move, and his soul is gradually leaving his body. No matter how he struggles, he feels that this body is no longer under his control. Aren't you capable of molecular manipulation? Get out of my sight? Xiao Hei snarled viciously at Apocalypse twice in Aaron's arms, then whimpered and rolled into Aaron's clothes. Apocalypse is still struggling, but under Aaron's invisible pressure. His body is constantly shattering, and even his soul is being pulled out slowly by a voice. One of the most powerful mutants, he was the god of the first dynasty of ancient Egypt. But now, however, this status did not give him any benefits, on the contrary, it allowed him to witness the death in advance. You, bang. Apocalypse completely knelt before Aaron's eyes. Presumptuous. Before Lord Hades, there were times when you looked directly at him? Boom. God name Hades, Lord of the Underworld, Master the God of Life and Death. How can it be? 
didn't this great existence disappear into history long before he ruled the Egyptian dynasty? You, you, are, Hades, with this word export. Bang. This mutant emperor, who has survived for thousands of years, exploded directly from his body to his soul. In just an instant, it disappeared into invisible. Poor apocalypse, it's not good to provoke anyone, such a villain. The emperor of a generation of mutant died in less than a few chapters. Pity. Pitiful. Apocalypse's death is just the beginning. Aaron didn't go out easily, and he would kill people if he went out. The group of mutants in front of them all have their names in the Book of Life and Death in the Underworld. Those people with pioneering technology and Hydra's agent belong to the people on the Book of Life and Death. Farao, Looney, I will leave these people to you, don't cause trouble for the young master. Minos is worthy of being one of the big three, and he understood Aaron's mood in an instant. These little things are really nothing to Aaron. At that time, if I let this group of damn bugs jump around in front of me, it would be too disgusting. Shield, within the helicarrier. Nick Fury is in a very bad mood at the moment. The news that just came from Egypt has been made known to the military through some channels. These bastards. Fury slapped the table hard, and the cup on the table was knocked over to the ground. This group of brainless politicians, and what short-sighted savages, only know how to plunder other people's achievements, and never consider any danger. Fury is not alone in this office. Phil Coulson just came over with the report from the military, and Hill Agent also brought the results in Egypt to Fury. Director. How should we explain this to the military? Phil Coulson knew his boss deeply. He didn't like people in the military, otherwise he wouldn't directly contradict officers like the colonel at the risk of shame. After all, the current shield is still under the name of the International Security Council. But the right to appoint is still in the hands of the military and those brainless politicians. With a dark face, Fury picked up the documents on the ground and threw them to Phil Coulson. Do you think we can deal with this kind of person? Phil Coulson is not an idiot, the document above is the information passed by the Egyptian official to the United States official. Who can drive a vicious dog down from the sky? What kind of person can use the energy of a nuclear explosion to directly turn nearly a thousand square meters of land near the Nile River into a glass desert? How much energy does that require, as the only superpower in the entire world? Don't they know what disaster this power will bring to this country if the man in its possession is a free man? I didn't expect that Mr. Aaron would have such a powerful force in his hands. Phil Coulson was also surprised. After all, when the bodies of those ninjas from the hand were found in the warehouse in Hell's Kitchen, they only thought that Aaron's method was nothing more than killing in a dream. But now, such a powerful force is right in front of my eyes. And these brainless politicians in the military actually asked S.H.I.E.L.D. to take action and bring this man named Aaron to justice. People are not from the United States, even a hundred S.H.I.E.L.D.s of this kind of people can't win. Director. Agent Hill on the side was still a little worried. However, Fury stopped him in an instant. Leave this matter alone, Dr. Banner has been found by Natasha Romanoff, and Stark has already joined the plan. Those stupid fat pigs will go to God for their behavior sooner or later. Fury put down the documents in his hand, glared at the few people in front of him and sat down. Phil Coulson, how's the research on that thing going? Phil Coulson shook his head, and then said, We have conducted research based on Mr. Howard's transcript, but we still cannot activate it. Well, okay, okay, you guys go out first. Okay, director. What happened on the United States side, Aaron didn't know. At this moment, Aaron came to a country in Western Europe accompanied by minnows. The girl you mentioned is in this small town? This is the most famous town of Fussin in Western Europe, and there is a well-known old castle in the town. This old castle is not very old and is one of the palaces of Ludwig E. But in this ancient castle, there is a legend about the Swan Knight, which is full of romantic fairy tale color and known to the world. Yes, young master, I was revived in this small town, and I saw the extraordinary ness of that girl at first sight. Aaron smiled slightly, and handed the little black in his hand to Minos behind him. Is it a young girl? Aaron was in front, Minos was behind, and the two followed the crowd towards the centuries-old castle. Just at this time, a burst of yelling to buy flowers attracted Aaron's attention. Not far from the old castle, a little black-haired girl in a floral dress stood in front of the old castle. Holding some fake flowers in his hand, he is selling them to tourists coming from all directions. But strangely, Pedestrians and tourists seemed to repel this girl. No one dared to walk over, no one dared to touch this girl. Girl, give me a flower. 
Just as the girl lowered her head absent-mindedly, a warm voice suddenly appeared in her ears. The girl raised her head, and a pair of blue eyes appeared in front of her eyes. Flowers. Flowers. Flowers for you. The girl panicked. This is her first business of the day. This person actually gave himself 50 euros. What's your name? The good-looking young man actually asked his name, and the girl's little heart suddenly jumped wildly. Then, a weak voice came over. Verla, my name is Verla. Villa? Aaron nodded. It's a good name. But before he could finish his words, the girl Vera suddenly fell to the ground. Something happened that made Aaron dissatisfied. Such a young girl in her prime didn't have any flaws on her body, but when she fell to the ground, no one around came to help her. Is this a human being, or do you not change your nature? Don't go. Just as Aaron approached the little girl, suddenly, several figures came from behind him. These people are still wearing the clothes of the church, and they look like priests and other priests. This person is a devil, she will bring you bad luck. This person not only said so in words, but even made actions. What's more, they took out a bottle of pure white liquid and a cross. Aiming at this girl, he chanted the spell in the Bible. Noisy. Minnows came over from behind, grabbed the collars of the two priests, and threw them out. Master, let me come. After speaking, Minnows hugged the girl who was lying on the ground into his arms. Then Aaron left the century-old castle together. Before the castle, the two priests who were thrown out by Minnows with their collars got up from the ground. Looking at the direction of Aaron's departure with a hint of horror in his eyes, he murmured. Harry Lure. Harry Lure, in a small town, in a dilapidated hut. Just as Minnows put the girl on the bed, the girl slowly opened her eyes. Have I passed out? Uncle Minnows? Hearing this voice, Minnow's face darkened first, then he turned around and touched the girl's forehead. Well, still in a fever. Aaron stood outside the house and did not go in, he stared at the sky quietly. The scenery of this ancient town is pretty good, much better than the English town where I was born. My awakening, what happened? Hades, as Hades, fought jihad with Athena from ancient times until the last jihad. It's not that I haven't been injured by the Saint Seiya of Pegasus, but I have never had this kind of thought. Could it be that group of main gods are plotting against him? Poseidon. No, my stupid younger brother is still in the game world, and would rather assist Athena than come down in person. Could it be Zeus? Impossible. God King Zeus had disappeared many years ago, and it is said that he disappeared in pursuit of a secret. After the King of God disappeared, the gods of Olympus began civil strife. Countless people began to covet this piece of land blessed by the gods. Including myself. But thinking about it now, ruling a piece of land is of no benefit to him. How could I have such a stupid idea? Master, Vera is awake. Minnow's voice came out, and Aaron came back to his senses, got rid of the distracting thoughts in his mind, and walked into the room. Good looking little brother. At the moments Vera is a little different from the little girl who sold flowers on the side of the road before. As a standard Western European girl, but this girl's eyes and hair are the same as her own. All lifeless black. If it weren't for the occasional anger that could be seen from Vera's face, this girl might not be in the state of being rejected by others. The moment Aaron walked into the room, he felt another breath of this girl. The familiar taste is nostalgic and a little annoying. It's Pandora. Whether it is the previous life, or the previous life. Pandora is like a woman who is born to carry evil in myths and legends, and has been a vassal of Pluto for generations. In every life, Pandora is the sister of Pluto in the physical body. It's just that this time Aaron has no siblings, and his parents were killed at a very early age. Unexpectedly, Pandora would have a fate similar to her own. It actually appeared in front of my eyes at this time. Pandora? On the hospital bed. Vera chanted the name, her eyes seemed a little dazed. I don't know why but I feel that this name is very familiar. The ignorant Vera looked up at Aaron's blue eyes and smiled sweetly. Master, is Vera Miss Pandora? As one of the three giants of the Pluto army, Minos is very familiar with Pandora. For countless years, Pandora has always been the reincarnated sister of Lord Hades. And she was given the four circles of hell, Judega, as her residence, and was even given the great ability to rule the 108 warriors of the underworld. This woman is the commander-in-chief of the Pluto army. It can't be wrong, Vera has the fate of Pandora, which led to such a tragic fate. Aaron's blue eyes stared into Pandora's gray eyes, then nodded. I'll leave her to you to take care of. As time goes by, she will become Pandora. 
Yes, master. Minnows looked back, and this lonely little girl turned out to be the commander in chief of Hades' army in the future. With such a fate, I don't know whether to say that Vera is lucky or unlucky. Like Master Aaron, the little girl had a tragic childhood. The girl was almost killed by her father in her childhood, and her mother remarried early. Perhaps, it was such a poor girl who was chosen by Lord Pandora's destiny to become the younger sister of Master Aaron in this lifetime. Beautiful brother. I have a baby, do you want to see it? Aaron was about to go out when he heard the rustling sound of Vera getting off the bed behind him. Um? So Aaron turned away. Little Vera turned her head, and after getting off the bed, she turned around and headed towards a basement in the house. This small basement is exceptionally clean. Presumably this clean little girl cleaned it herself. Although the whole basement is small, it is eye-catching. Found it. Vera's voice came out. Aaron followed Minnows and walked into the basement. At this moment, Vera held a small golden box in her hand, which looked like the holy cabinet that sealed the twin gods. However, the engraving on this box is different. The seal issued does not seem to be Athena's seal. It came from the underworld, a seal carved by myself. Good looking brother, this is what I want to show you, it looks good, Vera wants to give it to you. Give it to me? Aaron stared at the little girl in front of him with a wry smile, then nodded. Vera is only a human girl now, and cannot feel the huge underworld energy on the golden box. Even Minnows, although he could feel this power, was about to take it over and hand it over to himself. I was also backlashed by that force. Aaron waved his hand lightly, saying that he dissipated the power from Minnows and approached Verla. Follow brother Minnows up. Okay. I'll just take a look at this box. Facing Aaron's pure blue eyes, Vera nodded obediently and left the basement with Minnows. The ancient holy cabinet. Why is there no Athena's seal on this thing, but it has its own seal? After Minnows left the basement with Vera, Aaron took the Holy Ark in his hand. Then Aaron opened the Holy Ark. Boom. At this moment, the entire earth suddenly felt a suffocating dark energy coming from the ancient time and space to reality. But as the sorcerer supreme ancient one of Asgardian on earth, he couldn't see where this ancient energy came from. Could it be him? This terrifying dark energy far surpassed the impact Dormammu gave him. At that moment, even the light of the sun seemed no longer as good as a supporting role in the extreme darkness. The Nine Realms of the Gods, among Asgard, as Asgard who ruled the entire Nine Realms, at this moment their King Odin, just like a thousand years ago, was nailed to Asgard by an inexplicable seal. Thousands of years have passed, but no god dares to approach. At this moment, that terrifying dark energy reappeared in the Nine Realms. An ancient seal called Hades has deprived Asgard of their king for millennia. No. I'm going to find that Hades. Thor. Can you find him? Even if you find him, can you defeat him? Even if you can't defeat him, beg him to undo your father's seal. At this moment, some kind of energy suddenly tore apart an empty space in the sky. Endless darkness and a tyrannical king's aura were released from that airspace, and a sound of rage came from the darkness. Odin. Odin. Earth, in the small town of Fussin. Minnows looked up at the sky filled with endless darkness, and the smile on his face became more intense. Master Hades wakes up again, more magic stars will be revived under this power. Endless darkness was released from the sealed holy cabinet, where Aaron's weapon was sealed. The sword of Hades worn on the underworld clothes belonging to Hades. This sword pierced through the body of Seiya, the Pegasus Saint Seiya, and the curse carried on it will not be lifted even when the future heavenly warrior arrives. This is a curse that Athena cannot undo, and it also symbolizes the authority of Hades. For Aaron, there is also the godhead that he specially sealed after he first entered this world. I never thought that you would meet me like this. Aaron, who awakened in the third stage, has mastered many of Hades' abilities. But after all, it is still a human body at this moment, and the real body has been attacked by Athena, and it has not recovered yet. But, even just for a moment, Aaron is also enough to match the divine power of the Heavenly Father in the whole world. As he said that, Aaron took the Pluto sword out of the Holy Cabinet, and then put it into his own small world. Let's go, there is no need to stay here anymore. As he said that, the little black in Minnow's arms immediately turned into a hell three-headed dog, and then Aaron stepped up and flew out into the sky. 